Hi and welcome back to Crux Puzzles. Today we're going to be having a look at the Egg Puzzle, which is a puzzle box uh, made by Akio Kamai uh, from Japan. He's a member of the Karakuri Creation Group. Uh, and this is a really nice and quite fun puzzle box. Uh, it's made from cherry, uh, completely made from cherry. As you can see, it's quite a simplistic design. Um, apart from the maker's mark, there's not much there on it. Uh, it's quite a fun puzzle, uh, not too tricky to do, we won't get into the solve just now, we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, but it's not too tricky, so it's achievable for most people, um, a lot of people can have a shot at this one. And it's also just a really nice object, uh, it feels really nice and it looks really nice, it comes as well with a little stand, um, so you get a little stand with it so you can display it. Uh, and it looks really nice on a shelf or on a bookcase or something like that as well. Uh, it's quite an intriguing object as well. Uh, if someone comes to your house and they see this, they're, gonna, they're really going to wonder what it is and then you can show them and they can have a play around with it and see if they can solve it. Uh, so, uh, there's not much more to say about this one. Uh, after the short uh, intro here, we're going to have a look at how to solve it. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at how to solve this one. So uh, when I first got this, I just had to have a little play around of it, and it really didn't take very long to solve at all. Uh, if you're familiar with kind of Karakuri puzzles, I tend to find that the is quite a big clue in the actual shape or the object itself. Uh, in this case, it's an egg. Uh, so we'll have a look at the kind of. Uh, ideas that you might go through in order to solve this and I'll have a show you how to solve it. Uh, so there's a single seam that runs all along here, I think you can probably see that. Uh, and other than that there's not really any other marks or um, any other ways that it's going to open. So it's going to be those two parts that split apart. Um, and if you give it a little rattle you can actually hear something inside it. So when you do that, you might think that uh, if you've done a few puzzles before, that possibly there's going to be some kind of magnets involved. Uh, so the first thing you might do is try spinning it. I guess you can spin it a few different ways because it's an egg, uh, but none of that's working. And then you might think, well, how do you how do you open an egg? And of course, you crack an egg. So uh, try cracking this, and where would you crack it on the maker's mark? And that's it. And inside, you can able to see this, a tiny little chick. So that's your prize for opening it. Uh, so it's uh, yeah, kind of a solution that you might find on a few different puzzles. So it's that kind of magnets that you're having to force apart there. In this case, it's not spinning it. It's just uh, a little bit of force to nudge them apart. And then you've got this uh, little bit of space here which you can use to hide something. So it's quite a fun solution, uh, fits pretty well with the design of it, uh, I don't know what came up first, the uh, idea for the shape of it or the, uh, the idea to crack it, but it's quite a fun little uh, solution on this one. All in all, uh, really nice little puzzle, quite a unique little thing, uh, and really fun one to have on your shelf, this is a really good one for collectors of puzzles, it just sits really nicely alongside others, uh, and it's got that kind of fun solution that Everybody can have a shot at it, and, and I think a lot of people are going to be able to solve this one in the end. Cool, hopefully you liked this video. Uh, as I said, it's quite a fun little puzzle, a uh, really nice one to play around with. If you liked the video, why not subscribe, give us a like. Uh, we're going to be making a lot more videos in the future on different kinds of puzzles, so stay tuned and you'll see what we've got coming up. Uh, we've been doing a lot of Karakuri up till now, but it's not always going to be the Japanese puzzle boxes. We've got a lot of different kind of puzzles that we're going to be looking at. Uh, if you want to pick up this puzzle, I'll leave a link in the description below. I'll also leave our uh, Instagram description just down there as well. If you want to give us a follow on there, you'll catch up with the latest puzzles we've got and the latest kind of offers and stuff on the website as well. So that's it for today. Hopefully catch you in the next one.